Hey guys, it's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. And in this Xcode tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to set the alert view style of your alert views. Um, and this is a new feature added in iOS 5. Um, so that means it won't work on iOS 4. Um, kind of obvious, but still don't try it. Um, and basically, it's a new feature that allows us to kind of customize the alert views a bit more. Now, you'll remember back in the, well, in iOS 4, uh, when you wanted to add a text field into alert view, you had to actually manually create the text field and add it on. Um, whereas now you can use this new alert view style property to change the style of your UI alert view um, and have, you know, a login and password UI alert view, or just a single text input UI alert view and stuff like that. Um, so to speed this tutorial up, I've done two things. The first thing is I've created a um, <clears throat> a skeleton for our code, um, so I don't have to write a lot, so it'll speed up the tutorial. And also, I've got a text edit file here of the two things we'll be learning in the tutorial. Because the tutorial will involve me adding um, me adding the alerts into the into the code, but the main thing you're interested in is this part here. To set the style of an alert view, all you need to do is get your alert and go set alert view style. And there are four styles. There's UI alert view style default, UI alert view style password and login, um, UI alert view style plain text, and UI alert view style uh, secure text. So there's four different styles. This is the default one, as you can see. And then the last thing um, we're going to be learning is how to get the text out of the text field. So that is alert view text field at index. Um, and you, the index is which text field. So the first text field on the screen is zero. The second text field is one. Third text field is three and so on. Just like the buttons, everything starts at zero. Um, so they're the two things we're going to be learning. So look out for them. I'll explain them. The rest of it, I'm hoping you already know. If you don't already know, then go check out the rest of this series, the, the UI alert view series to catch up on all the UI Love You stuff. So they're the things we're going to be learning. Um, so let's go into the code. As I said, I've already created a skeleton. This is a really basic skeleton. I have a total of four actions, and each action shows an alert, like so, um, and they're all the same alert at the moment. Now we're going to change these alerts. So to change them, uh, we're going to use that method I just showed you and that's to set the style. So after you've allocated or initiated the object um, of the alert view, you go alert, set style, alert view style, and then your alert view style, and you can see there's the four different options there. This one's the default one. Uh, this one here is the password input one. Set alert view style, and then your alert view style, password and inputs. This one here is the Oops, this one here is the uh, plain text. So set alert view style, UI alert view style, plain text. And the final one is the only one that's left, and that is set alert view style, UI alert view style, and that is secure text input. So there you go, that's all of them. I'm just going to build and run now to show you what they look like, and then we'll move on to the next part of actually setting the text of the alert views. So let me just grab my simulator here. Um, and here you go. So this is what my app looks like. Uh, the login and text fields are for later when we actually grab the text. So here's the default one. That's the default one. Other. Um, there's the login and password one. So you can see here, login, password. Um, plain text is just plain text. And four is secure text. So you can see here it makes everything a small black dot so no one can see what I'm typing. Um, as you'll notice though, the problem is here, I can't get the text from my text fields. So that's where we're going to be using our other method today, and that is the text field at index. Now to get that, I'm going to be using the delegate method. Now it's important you have the delegate set, and to do that you go into the dot h and set to the UI alert view delegate, like so, just there in between the carrots. Um, and I'm just going to be using a delegate method which allows me to work out if they've dismissed the alert. So to do that, I just go void alert view, and as long as I have the delegate in, I can 
choose from these four methods. I want the first one, which is clicked button at index, and that will that's basically called whenever they click a button. I don't care which button they press, as long as they click a button, I'm okay. Now, what I need to do is work out which alert is being shown at the time so I can get the correct information without crashing the app. Because if I ask for the text field and it's not present, then the app will crash. So to do that, I'm going to set the tag for each of these alert views so that I can work out which one's on the screen. So the first alert view is going to have the tag um, one, uh, tag, oops, tag zero, and it's going to go up like that. Now I'm going to speed through this because this isn't really relevant to the tutorial, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, yep, yeah, here we go. Um, I've just set the tags as you can see. Again, this isn't really relevant to the tutorial. Um, it, they just increment, so 0, 1, 2, 3. And that's just to let me know which alert view is present at the time. Now, um, <clears throat> it's most likely in your app you're only going to have one or two alert views that show. So you don't really need to bother doing that. But, you know, so I'm going to go if alert view dot tag. So remember, I just set the tags is equal to zero. I know it's the first alert view. So I'm going to set my password dot text, which is a label on the screen, by the way, to equal nothing because there's no text field. Remember, um, and I'm going to set the login label um, dot text to equal uh, just normal uh, alert because remember, there's no text fields. So, you know, I can't really do anything like that. Now, this is the bit where we're going to be using our, our knowledge of the text field at index. I'm going to go if the alert view dot tag is equal to one, then I know it's the password and login text. So I need to go password dot text equals. And now we do two open brackets and we go alert view text field at index and the password text field is at index one because it's the second text field, and we want that text, like that. The We also want to set the login label, so that's dot text. That equals the alert view text field at index, and it's zero for the login uh, one, because that's the first text field, and we want that text as well. So that's how we get the passwords text, because it's the text field one, and that's how we get the login label text, because that is zero. So I'm going to do the same for the others here. Um, so, whoops, I can't spell else. Um, if the alert view dot tag is equal to, oh my god, alert view dot tag, there you go, is equal to two, then it's going to be the plain text. So I'm going to set the password to equal nothing. Um, I could also put nil there, but I can't be bothered. And the login label dot text is going to have the alert view text field at index zero because there's only one present and text like that and else then it's going to be the secure text so I'm going to just go password dot text again is equal to nothing and the login label dot text is equal to alert text field at index zero text so there we go, and that's how we do it. That's the only thing you really need to know. All you need to know to set the style is this method here, and all you need to know to get the uh, text field label uh, text, sorry, not the text field label, the text field's text is this line here. This is to get access to the text field, then you can get whatever you want. You could get its placeholder if you wanted, you could get its color, um, I don't think it has a color. Uh, you could get its background color if you wanted, um, in this case, I just want the text, but as you can see, you can get anything as long as you get hold of the text field. So that's how we do that. And I'm just going to build and run for uh, ending the tutorial's sake. Um, so you can see that it actually does work. Um, so normal one has absolutely nothing, so it just sets normal alert. Number two, we can have login here and password. You can see we get login and password set up here. Three, um, just plain text. There you go. And number four is secure text. And there you go. So that's how you do that, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I know I kind of went kind of quick, but if you don't know how to make an alert view, 
then go check out the rest of this series, the first video, and carry on from there. That's how you make an alert view. Um, and they're basically the two methods you need. So if you have any questions, just post them in the comments or hit me on Twitter at FailCakeApps. I'll happily answer as best I can and as quick as I can. Um, don't forget to click on some of the adverts in my videos because they always help. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial.